Morning, University of Iowa police cleared tents and other items being put in place by a pro-Palestine group in Hubbard Park. They left the encampment, but promised to be back. It comes after three days of rallies ended peacefully Sunday at the Pentecrest. KCRG TV9's Molly Swain joins us now live in the studio after looking into the effectiveness of rallies that can sometimes turn confrontational. That's right, Jim. The political scientist I talked with said essentially a successful protest boils down to sympathy and perception. I also spoke to an activist who's been a part of pro-Palestine protests in Iowa for months now. She said success looks different depending on the goals of the protest. You kind of have to appeal to people. Tim Hagel at the University of Iowa said history showed getting sympathy for a movement was crucial for protesters of the past. With the desegregation protests back in the 50s and 60s that they generally were nonviolent. And then when you see an overreaction on the part of the police, turning dogs on the protesters or fire hoses and things of that nature, that, that tends to get people's sympathy up for them. Mimi Daoud has been a part of pro-Palestine protests in eastern Iowa for the past several months. She said sometimes the need for disruption outweighed the need to win over public opinion. Some forms of protest, the goal is to put intense pressure on policymakers. We've seen historically that the main ways to do that um, in urgent situations is through acts of civil disobedience. Hagel said he thought the pro-Palestinian protests unfolding across the country and here in Iowa weren't earning sympathy for a couple of reasons. Some protests, he said, are too disruptive. As far as the Iowa versus national situation, it was all very sedate. Even for those more sedate protests, Hagel said he didn't see the protesters as having a personal connection or a clear fixed message. You lose people's uh, willingness to go along with what's going on, and especially when you have a situation where your demands keep escalating. Daoud said she has connections to several people who have lost their lives in the West Bank, and even for those who don't have that connection. I think a genocide, it should be personal to us. I mean, that is that speaks to our humanity. As for the message, she says her demands have never changed. But she thought it made sense that demands would change for people who had become more educated on the topic. Hegel said a major way protesters would lose the sympathy of observers was to espouse hatred or anti-Semitism. Dawood said her message was against oppression. I don't think that necessarily because you're pro-Palestinian, you're necessarily anti-Israel. But to be pro-Palestinian, you have to be anti-apartheid and anti-occupation. Molly Swain, KCRG, TV9 News.